the UN General Assembly has already begun, but the great debate begins on Tuesday, September 24th. Following another very important meeting, the Climate Summit on Monday, September 23rd. The 193 member states of the organization will be represented at the General Assembly to discuss and work together on a wide array of international issues covered by the Charter of the United Nations. This year, the focus is on elimination of nuclear weapons. It falls on the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons. Nigeria will be at the Anga, as President Muhammad Buhari has already left for New York to join his other counterparts. Before he left, the federal government disagreed with the UN Special Rapporteur's report of violence in Nigeria, which it said did not reflect the general state of security in all its ramifications. It appears the 74th General Assembly will be a major event for Nigeria. Some of the side events that um, uh, Nigeria will be organizing, uh, the side event on uh, uh, SDGs uh, integration, bridging the policy planning budget gap for the achievement of the SDGs. And this is being organized by the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President uh, on Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, then there's a side event on promotion of international cooperation to combat uh, illicit financial flows and strengthen good practices on assets recovery and return to their foster uh, 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 return to foster sustainable development uh, uh, in the country. Nigeria will, however, be pursuing other interests of the Onga. Nigeria is keen to be elected into a category of the International Maritime Organization. We were also vying for um, a position on the World Heritage Committee of the uh, United Nations uh, Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, uh, UNESCO. Um, we're vying for um, uh, a seat uh, under part two on the International Civil Aviation uh, Organization Council. Nigeria's ambitions within the United Nations are not out of place. And with the appointment of Professor Tijani Muhammad Bande as president of the General Assembly, Nigeria can perhaps regain her status on the international stage as Africa's leader.